Hello. What's up, guys? It's Nevada Backcountry here with Carter. And we, we have got a, a special thing for you today. Yeah, we are unboxing some new decoys. Yes, we are. We bought some at our local what Cal is it? Ranch. Cal Ranch. It, it's just a, it's a ranch. Joke. Yeah. But so. Eh. So we got. The, the big. The Greenhead Gear Decoy System. Yeah. The Style Series. And we have six decoys, four drakes, two hens. And what I am running right now are the decoys I have right now are the Hardcore uh, Elite, uh, I mean, uh, Field Series. Uh, these decoys, here's the drake. He's a pretty good bird. Then we have the hen right here. Uh, they they've been through some sh they've been through some hot hot oh. this year, so they're a little dirty. So let's check out these decoys and we'll compare them. I had to help them pay for them by like twenty five cents. Dollar. A dollar. And a dollar cents. and twelve cents because I forgot half my money at home. So. Oh Ooh. wow! These are pretty. Really like pretty, yes. Yeah. <laughs> they're really detailed, actually. And they smell they're, new. <laughs> yeah. Dude. They, uh, these decoys right here, if you can't see, these decoys are painted right there. And the decoys I'm running right now, uh, the mallards I have right now out of the hard court do not have that. That is black, and this one here is brown. Uh, these kind of got a lighter head right here. Uh, uh, the, these decoys have a darker beak. Uh, these ones got a uh, better uh, feather pattern, uh, more detail. Uh, their keel though, I don't really like they're, their keel. But the look at their beak. They're actually yeah. all detailed. Yeah, and but the hen, but the keel, I don't really like. Because you can't, you know, it's not, I don't like the keel. Hey, you uh, can take this weird. off still and yeah. fill it up. But uh, the right hen there. though, I like. Uh, it's way different. It actually looks like a mallard hen. Like a actual mallard hens sitting on there. The mallard hens I'm running right now, let me find a clean one. Uh, they're a little dirty, but honestly, these decoys, these new ones I bought, they're are, about uh, the same. no, they're bigger. But the tails are different. Yeah. These are have more of a mallard tail. These are a little pointy. The backs are different. Oh, that wasn't filming. We gotta restart it. It's still filming. No, I did something wrong. Never mind. Anyways, uh, if you guys didn't see that, uh, oh, is that a hole? No, that's messed up paint. Let me see. Oh, that's a hole. I didn't shoot one of my decoys. She did. No, I think that's just messed up from when they built it. Yeah, these decoys actually I have right now. Yeah, yeah. this is when they. These uh, right here, the tails are a little bit better. Oh, uh, hey. The decoys I've been running. You can connect them. Yeah, the decoys I've been running. Uh, they have a pointy tail and it's super bright. These decoys, these decoy, this uh, hen right here, uh, the new box is uh darker it's more round it's then the front chest right there that's what i really like it's actually looks like a hen chest all this one doesn't and the heads are different they're put on they're different their eyes look yeah. way better that's all their i was gonna just say uh these nope. are really good actually and they're uh they're, they're about the same weight but these uh hope they'll get tested out this year for sure and uh, they got a little more design on the beak. Yeah. Uh, I like the hens a lot better than the ones I'm running right now. Uh, just the color on the wings right here. You can see, if you can see, there's some white on the wings. Then the drake, we got a, what does the box say? We got high head drake, a swimmer drake, and a ruster drake, and a active drake. Then the hens are, we got one active hen and one swimmer hen. So they look pretty much the same. Uh, the paint job is really well, actually. Really smooth, really Except for this for. one in the chest right, right. there. Yeah, that'll but happen that's sometimes. Right. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. But the hen, like this one's got a little green right there from the head. Yeah. But that's all right. Duck ain't going to notice that when they're, you know, dropping in. So. And then there's the resting one. Yeah. I mean, as you can tell, I mean, all my decoys, all my great decoys out of my previous box, I mean, I think I like these ones a little bit better than new ones. Uh, the paint comes off these pretty easily. 
They are durable though. I did shoot one of them this year and it has not sank yet. I will find that decoy. I think this one is it actually. No, that's not it. But these, hopefully the paint doesn't come off so easily. These are good. We got a six pack, like I said earlier. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, buy one or two packs of Yeah, them. you should go get the other six. They're there's six two more 32 so that'd be 64 24 so that actually be pretty good so actually I, these these decoys right here are a little bit better that one i might go buy mojos yeah we need a mojo huh yeah. so but well, we usually river yeah we usually, we're, we're big river hunters uh it's uh it's kind of hard but we'll have our good days and uh, another thing I'm doing this year is the Hunter Hall box. Mm -hmm. It's 139 for uh, the advanced box. And it's for the waterfowl, so you get four boxes or five, however long your waterfowl season is. You and can you do that for there's... Mojos, you get teal mojos, oh, yeah. calls, food, hunting clothing, lanyards, it gets all of it right here. And uh, and then they make one good. They make one for uh, big game hunting too. Yeah, they do I'm the big game whitetail, elk, they got the bear, that all that. Deer. The I'm western, just... western, uh, big game box. That's what I'm gonna get. Yeah, Gives the... you bugles, ammo, and all that. Yeah, the feather on these decoys, they're just a lot more detailed. I mean, very, very well detailed. Now, I like the eyes. It. The eyes are really detailed. They aren't just circled in black. Yeah, the eyes actually kind of look like eyes. Uh number six oh they got numbers like that one right there zero so it goes one to six that's pretty good i don't think my decoys we have numbers have that no they do not well it's hard to tell because the keel is pretty uh dirty from all the mud i've been hunting in but these uh the keel i don't uh my previous decoys uh they got this weird uh, kill on the end for swimming in river gets them a lot of action as we've seen earlier this year. Here, let me see that. Uh, one. You know, let me take a few off the a little old. There, they're in order. Here, here's the great. And I have what 50, 60, 70 decoys now. Yeah. So it's here's uh, I already had taking the name. So we're gonna clean these decoys tonight probably. I know it's nowhere near close hunting season, but, but it's I can think, get ready here soon. Yeah, we'll probably travel this year for hunting. So uh, I want to go off Foundland and go duck hunting. Yeah, they got wood ducks and stuff. Yeah. So, but snow this, geese. Snow geese, yeah. But uh, this the keel. I want I want to know if these swim better. So we'll uh, probably make a video. You'll have to watch that. Uh, on how much ones, uh, ha, la, 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 which yeah. ones swim better? Uh, the quality. The quality. Stand we'll do a quantity. we'll do a review on these decoys at the end of the year. Uh, he'll buy some, so we'll have more decoys to show off. We need to buy some more weights. Some everything. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get some new calls. Definitely a new lanyard. I'm so. getting new calls. I need more calls. Yeah, you only got two. You got I got three. I got six, and that's all I don't need. But, uh, hey, I mean, my calls are right there. You got more than six. I got six. You got more. Than six. Well, I got seven. Yeah, that's what I thought. I know, I only need six. Yeah. So. You should give me one. I should. I got some duck man calls, I got some high ballers, I got some whistles, I just got my honker calls, and uh, I don't know, I have never sent a video to James, but this year Pretty I had the privilege band. to shoot a double band of Canadian goose from Utah, right there. Then Actually, I shot, he shot it in Nevada, he was tagged yeah. in Utah. Yeah, it was banned in Utah, then I shot this duck right here, uh it's on my instagram it tells more about it uh it was banned in the ruby valley i shot it only about 34 40 miles away yeah. from there hunting our little hunting hole uh he never got to duck hunt that that much this year i did i shot a lot of ducks out of there this year 
I stick uh, to the rivers and the ponds. Yeah, mostly. I'm a big traveler when it comes to waterfowl hunting. I just got a little more brains to it because I've been doing a little longer. This year he had a really good year. Beat him in ducks by yeah, a lot. Yeah, I shot 55. I shot, shot 80. Up in the high 80s. High 80s. But, you know, he's homeschooled, so he gets to go out every day. I got to go to school. So I get much as I can on the weekends. I shoot my limits when I can. Uh, but all I did really, I did do like few jumps. I think I went jump shot this year, what, four times, four or five that. times. You and me went to a crap ton behind the dam. We went five or six times. So this dam. year total for me, I went five, six times. But I did, I went hunting a little over 20 times. And, uh, oh, and uh, some days I didn't show my limit. Uh, other days I had a great day. It was done in 30 minutes. I'm a big decoy hunter, and uh, I can't wait to see how these react. I really like the head on these. They got a little more weight right here in the keel, but that's okay. So, it's, uh, and these uh, tell you what they are too. Like this is the resting mallard. I'll have, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Right there it says resting mallard. So that explains what it is. This decoy, no it doesn't. So. These are hardcore uh, promo mallards, hardcore, uh, I think they're the field series. Let me go look. I'll be right back. And they just, you think they would explain, you think they'd have different things on them. I know, I know. Like, you think they'd have, like, a resting mallard, feeding mallards and stuff. They do. But they don't. Not on the decoys I'm running right now. These, uh -huh. they do. But my grandpa, he runs Avian X's. Uh, I really like those a lot. Uh, only thing I got really complaining about those is uh, a little big, but yeah. that's all right. I will say they're, yeah. They're uh, bigger. They're supposed to be bigger. I think they're, like, uh, 15 inches long. They're like ducks on steroids. <laughs> yeah, but that's your typical Avian X, so we got nothing against them. I do like their goose decoys. Their goose decoys are nice. nice. They're nice, so. I caught me a duck. And yeah, too bad you can't do that in real life. I you have to actually before. catch a duck. I you have know, like during duck season, like oh. you're sitting in the decoys and he's landing and you reach out there and grab him. That'd be cool. Dude, that'd be so much fun. But we cannot wait. To uh, test out these decoys. I don't know. Uh, decoying for us went bad for that one. I day. know. This year was uh, a little hard on decoying. So, I tell you a story about our first time going out decoying this year. Oh, gosh. It was miserable. behind Behind the dam, right? We're, it's a public lake here yeah, in Nevada. A, and we won't. There's a lot of people up. that hunt. I'm, hey, hey, hey. It. hey but excuse me. We were, we were back there. And we're back there like 3.30 in the morning getting ready. And we're putting up decoys and stuff. And we could hear the ducks and, flying by. Yeah, we, we were hearing ducks flying by. And I'm we're like, like oh, all right, good. whatever. But the first thing that happens in the morning, what happens? We just get in the blind. And Sit two there. mallards drop in. Right? It's before legal shooting light. Yeah. Like, all right. So we hear some ducks laying in the decoys. Still a little too dark. And all of a sudden, nothing happens. And let's finish the story, dude. It got crazy. Yeah, it got really crazy. Let's just say we went to it because we missed those two ducks went and ran to a different duck real fast we yeah. shot i mean millions of ducks came Not off millions. that river there was uh there was at least a thousand that i mean got up. I, the, a legit thousand that got the, up. the sky turned black Pretty we had much. to run back to the we uh, lost blind. the call yeah we lost his call was, i lost a good call too yeah it was uh funny uh the, the reed fell out uh it was just I too, mean, it, we, we I were, should have stayed in the decoys. I, then we could have hit him. It was yeah. I shot this green wing teal. I I looked for that sucker forever too. Even he did, and we never found it. I hit that thing so hard, and he oh. still got away. I was shooting number ones. Actually, ones. I was uh I hit a duck, and I knew I hit him hard. And later that day, we were walking back up, go back to the truck, go to a different place to go to decoying. And we found him like a thousand yards from the blind. Who found him though? Goose. Yeah, my. Uh, I walk, I literally my walked. Duck, on that duck. My uh, my dog. Yeah, he, uh, he's a wire hair. He's almost three. Turns three in November. He's a good dog. He gets a little excited in the blind because he likes to retrieve. And we had a. Uh, it was hard that day. The good. river is frozen, and all those ducks were just going to the lake. 
and we could not break them down. Uh, yeah, because in the middle, did, it was open water. And when you broke them down to your decoys, they just, if they didn't, the decoys weren't set right, we tried different, we tried U, Cs, we just tried throwing them out there. Hey, Donald. Hi, Donald. We tried throwing them out there, and it this just did Donald not Trump. work. So, that's our, uh, those are our new decoys. We'll do a review on them uh, later this year. So uh, tune in for that next video. We'll have some marketing hunt videos and stuff like that. Uh, it's going to be a good time. So uh, stay tuned. Yeah. Archery deer and archery oaks come soon. And archery antelope. It is. It is. Four months. Yeah, and we're going to be out in the mountains two weeks before season scouting. Yeah. Get some can scouting the tags, in. We probably will. We will, but we got to draw the same tags if we want to go together. Yeah. So. We still can, it's just be harder. Yeah. Help each other out. So, new decoys. Excited. I know it's a little early to buy them, but that's the thing. I seen a video. Buy them when they're cheap. Yep. You get them, you know, big places, you know, go to your local sporting store, look for them. They only, they're always going to have them uh, cheap. Like these, earlier this year, these decoys for six were a hundred bucks. Uh, now that they're thirty uh two eleven. Thirty two dollars and eleven cents. Twelve cents. Twelve cents and uh that's what the major price dropping. So uh, if you're looking for cheap decoys, do that. So uh, we love you, you all and peace.